need somebody else to do. Okay, right. So has everybody finished their five a day? Yeah. Everybody, everybody ready? Yeah. Okay, right. So let's have a look at our first one here. A, we've got one quarter added to one eighth. Who can tell me how we're going to work this one out? Great to see you all hand up, Katie. What are we going to do? We convert the denominator. Can you give me a bit more information there, Katie? Convert them the same. We need to make the denominators the same. So, somebody else, which denominator am I going to change in order to make them the same? Holly. One quarter. We're going to change one quarter. So, what am I going to change one quarter to, Holly? One eighth. One eighth. How did you change it to one eighth, Holly? Four divided by eight. Yeah, eight divided by four. Eight divided by four. Right, I'm going to stop you there, Holly. We need these two de denominators to be the same. You've told me you want to turn this quarter so it becomes an eight. What is the quickest way of changing a quarter into an eight? Sharon. Okay, would you like to reveal to us what that certain number is, Sharon? <laughs> two, we're going to multiply by two. So that's going to equal one eighth, Sharon. Are we happy with that? No. That was what I was told earlier. No, what else do we need to do? As well as multiply the denominator by two, we also need to multiply, Chloe? Um, the one by two. We also need to multiply the one by the two. So instead of having... One eighth. One eighth. How many eighths will I have, please? How many eighths will I have? This way. Two eighths. Excellent. And now I've got two eighths. It should be dead easy to add together, shouldn't it? Because I've got two eighths, which is the same as a quarter, added to one eighth, which will be what, Sammy? Three eighths. Three eighths. Excellent. Remember, your denominator doesn't change when you're adding to the same denominator. Well done. Hands up if you've got three eights. Fantastic. Well done. Right. Okay. Next one. B. Fifteen. Take away zero point seven. Somebody from this side of the room, tell me how are we going to do that one? Eeny, meeny, miny. We're going to turn the numbers into decimals, aren't they already in decimals, Sarah? Mm -hmm. We're going to pretend the money to help us out here. Okay, so if I'm going to pretend £15 is money, what do you mean I'm going to need to do? Can you just explain that a bit more? We're going to do 15.00. Okay, let's just get my pen working again. So we're going to do 15.00. So we've got our two digits in our... What columns are these two digits in, please? Baba? Hundreds and tenths. Or if we're going from in descending order, tenths and hundreds, good. So I've got 15.00 or 15 pounds if we are pretending it is money. And Stephen, how am I going to write 0 0.7? Zero under the five. I'm going to put a zero under the five. And you're going to put five. Yes. And you're going to put seven. Yeah. Excellent. Great. No, it's a straightforward takeaway calculation. Many of you will be able to do this in your head. Does anybody want to tell me what it is working it out in their head? You can use the exchanging method if you wanted to, but I don't think we need to. Rihanna. 14.7. Um, 14.30, says Rihanna. Are we happy with that? Yeah. Excellent. So we would write 14.30. Anybody else tell me anything else I could have written there, which would have also been right, Mohammed? 14.3. Up to you whether you put that zero on or not. It is right either way. Fantastic. Right, let's have a look at the next one here. Um, as I just get rid of what I've just done, we've got 80 times something multiplied by something equals 800,000. Who wants to tell me how we're going to work this one out? Who haven't heard from yet? I tell you what I've not heard from. I've not heard from Dan. Dan, can you tell me how we're going to work this one out? 
going to end have to find out what 80 and something equals 800,000. Right, so we're going to have to find out what that something is. Can you give us a strategy? If you were stuck with that, you couldn't spot it straight away, Jan. What strategy might I want to use? Um, Which I've already got nicely here for us. Okay, so I've got those headings on there. Go on, tell me what I'm going to do next. Then I'm going to look at somebody else. Put 80 in there. Yeah. So we're just, just for, to be absolutely clear, where are we going to put the 80, Dan? Um, that's an 8 goes into 10. Yeah. And 0 goes into 8. Superb. Fantastic. Let's give Dan a break. Who haven't picked on yet? James happened to not picked on you yet. Come on then. We've got 80 in the tens and the units column. How am I going to decide? What it's been multiplied by to make 800,000. What are we going to do next? You think we're going to multiply it by 10,000. How did you work that out, James? Yeah, but what did you do? We've got that written now. Who can help them out? What are we going to do? Now we've got the 80 there. What is the quickest way of actually seeing what we've multiplied by, Lauren? You write down 800,000 underneath. We could write 800,000 underneath. That's not necessary. Well, okay, we'll do that. I'll tell you what, we'll do that. Yeah, we don't always need to do that, but yes. Okay, let's do, do that way. So we'll write 800,000 down underneath. That's still not going to tell me what we've multiplied by. So who can use that to help me tell, tell us what we've multiplied by? Go on, Stephen. What are we move? What are we looking at? What's moved on, Stephen? Um, um, what's moved along um, from the first number to the second number? Um, the eight. So, how many columns have that eight moved along? Let's have a look. One, two, three. Sorry, I've miscounted there. I've done my jumps in the wrong way. Oh, hey. let's try that again. Right, let's try that again. So it's gone. What? Try again. It's gone one, two, three, four columns up. So, what does that mean? We must have multiplied by. And how? You think it's over 10,000. Can you say why James was right? So why four columns mean it's gone up by 10,000? Fantastic, there are four zeros in 10,000. So James, you're absolutely spot on. I just wanted you to be able to explain how to do it if you didn't understand. So well done, you did get it right. Okay, let's have a look at the next one then. We'll use a similar strategy. So very quickly. 100,000 divided by something equals 1,000. Tell me what I'm going to do. And you've just seen the last one, so no, what have I done? No, I don't want to do that. I want to go there. Right. Okay. Right. Who can tell me what I'm going to do? Who I haven't I heard from yet at all? Tell me, I've not heard from you. Tell me what I'm going to do for me at this point. Um, well, <coughs> Mm -hmm. Put me hundred thousand in the thing. I think. I think. Do you, do you mean under the headings? Yeah. Yes. I thought that's what you meant by that. Excellent. So we put the hundred thousand in there. It's lovely. And then what can I just do? I don't need to write the next number out. What could I just count, just to save me a bit of time there, George? Count down to the thousands. Count down the one because we know in a thousand it's in the thousands column. So let's just check how many columns has it gone down. One. <coughs> two. So if it's gone down two columns, if that one digit has moved down two columns, what have we divided by? Mohammed? How do you know it's a hundred? Hundred's got two zeros, so the answer must be a hundred. Fantastic. Hands up if you got that one right. Fantastic. Well done. Those of you who didn't, do you understand where you went wrong? Good stuff. Right, let's have a look at the very last question here. We've got three-fifths of 80. Who can remind me of the rule 
for finding a fraction of a number. Christopher, great to see your hand up. Divide by the denominator times by the numerator. Remember, divide, denominator. We'll start with D to remind you of that rule. Right, so we've got 80 here. So, divide by the denominator. What's that going to be, Charlie? Eight divided by five. Eight divided by five. Eighty divided by five. That sounds better. Eighty divided by five. How many fives in eighty? Sixteen. So we've got sixteen fives in eighty. So that is what fraction? If we've divided by five, what fraction is sixteen equivalent to, Lexi? One fifth, fantastic. But as Chris said, we need to be multiplying by three because we are looking for three fifths. So three fifths is going to equal what if we're multiplying by three? Sarah. It's going to be 48. It's going to be 16, 16 times three. 16 times three, yep. Yeah, two 16s are 32. One more is going to be 48. Hands up if you got that one right. Well, Dylan, can you put your hand up if you got three or more right on that one, please? At least three. Fantastic. That's almost a full set. Brilliant. Keep your hands up if you got four right. Keep your hands up if you got five right. Virtually everybody. Brilliant. Well done. Hands down. 